手置きを見せてやる All right, so in this one, gonna be a different type of video. I do want to uh, do these different type of videos from time to time, maybe once every month, once every couple of weeks, just to catch up. I mean, really, because there's a lot of stuff going on the channel, obviously, anniversary and all these things that are going on around it. Um, just, you know, legends being legends and me being a legends creator, uh, uploading that, you know, 24 7 at this point. I do want to take like a minute break. I know people might not see this and they'll be like, okay, well, it's more personal video. I don't particularly care for it. You know, I understand that. You know, you're here for Legends. If you don't see Legends, I get that, right? Like, no problem. Enjoy your time. See you next one, Legends video. But I do want to just talk. I mean, don't really have like a script or idea planned out for this. I don't like that idea of it. I just think a genuine speaking where it's like, okay, me coming up with stuff to talk about as we go on. Obviously, I have an idea, but like just coming up with stuff as we go on is something that people would enjoy because sometimes i mean you're on youtube and you're looking for someone to watch well maybe you know a situation happened where a fight happened and you're kind of like trying to console yourself and then well okay i'm gonna watch this video and try to entertain myself kind of that gimmick where well <laughs> gimmick is a terrible word for it kind of that situation where it's like just talking to somebody as if we know each other or our friends so it's like I'll ask myself things while talking to you guys, and I'll answer self, myself things and kind of, I guess, talk about more myself because people don't really much know much about me personally. Again, mostly Legends guy here, all Legends guy here. I, I've done some of these videos off, uh, you know, just not too often, okay enough amount to where it's just kind of like talking with Legends gameplay. This is just straight up me talking. I feel like that's more uh, sincere and heartfelt, so I do want to do that, again, at least once a month with these type of videos. So it's like a... How are you? Again, I'll be answering this, and this is also to you guys, right? So it's like a checkup on us, you and me, kind of like as people, right? So how are you? Me, I personally, um, I'm good. Um, I would say, you know, there, there's been stuff, and I haven't even really even talked about it. I guess I'll mention it here. The uh, whole situation, the, uh, you know, groping, basically, that happened to me. Um, you know, that screwed me up for a good bit, but from then on, I've been better off, right, in just a better headspace to where, you know, I kind of, like, um, not really understand it, but, like, acknowledge, like, you know, shit's gonna happen, shit's gonna go wrong, shit's not gonna go your way, obviously, you know, it's some lengths where it shouldn't fucking go, but, like, you know, you can't control everything, and you know what, if something happens, if you let it get the best, let it get the best of you, you're just letting it win, and, well, you want to win, you know? You're living, you want to live, and win while living, right? So, that happened, and, uh, again, it's kind of just a process where you just get over something like that, and, you know, obviously something like a parent dying or something in a nature, it's the same process of feelings, right? It's kind of just like a denial, a grief, and a, you know, all these things, obviously, to a lesser or more extent per the situation, but, like, it's a situation where you just get over or acknowledge and accept and move on from there, sucks when you think about it again like a parent dying or an animal dying or something like that but you at least understand more of it than you did and it kind of helps you move on from there but you know dropping that um that's probably all i really have to say on that topic as well just from here on out you know people have been asking but like you know that's about it from that um i've been okay um trying to be more open i think i come off as a manner and you know this is even for people that you know have asked me to collab or you know talk with them or you know do these things you know in real life and or like on this channel like things that could have happened or things that could happen or things that will happen i'm very closed out um i don't like replying to many things i don't like speaking i, I don't like a situation where it's like you know hey well, let's do this and let's plan around this. It feels disingenuine where like a situation's like, okay, let's have this happen, but like for this specific person purpose and only that purpose. Obviously, you know, this one situation could happen because uh you want it to mold into more, like going out with somebody or like a hangout or something like that. And you want it to mold into more from the baseline situation where you started it from, obviously. But I feel like a uh not a burden. It's just I feel burdened by being in a situation to where it's just this one thing and that I become a burden from that, right? So it's like I'm asked to do a collab with somebody. Well, at that point, it's all up to me. 
And then it's like, okay, well, if I give a situation or a time or a day or whatever, where it's like not great, then it becomes a burden to them. And I'm just like, oh shit, like that's not good. Like I, I don't want that. So it's like, I don't even like attempt it, which definitely is an issue. Definitely I work on that. But how I'm feeling is okay. I wouldn't say a perfect, you know, situation. You're never going to feel perfect. You're going to feel greater in some spots than others. Obviously, channel wise, I'm feeling okay about it. I'm feeling good about it rather. To where most days are doing great. I'm feeling good about everything. Obviously, you know, some are lacking. Some are, you know, just because of the legend anniversary being mediocre, just lacks on the channel itself. But most days feeling good about the channel, which is the uh, main thing I do care about that I am currently doing just as a day of the thing, right? Not really caring about too much as much as the channel because that success uh, is important to me, right? This is the important thing that I'm doing it right now in my life is YouTube. So happy about that and overall in an okay manner. Um, what else would you even ask? I mean, I, I would just say I'm, I'm content. I'm very content right now. Um, I don't know if that's good. You know, if you, if you ask somebody, are you content or are you happy? And I'll say content. I guess you take that as a negative, right? But I'd say I'm content to where things are good, things are fine, and things are okay. And it's like, again, this is a question to you guys. How are you guys doing? How, all that stuff. Again, just a catch-up type of thing. Um, what I'm doing, what I'm planning, I guess, just in life and just in my own uh, situation for YouTube as well. Um, nothing... Uh, I mean, I can't say nothing. There, there's some things for sure, like in life and in YouTube. And again, I'm doing this, by the way. I didn't even mention it. Um, is because I don't want to just do Legends, right? You know, this game will die. Dragon Ball will have a downward slope of heightness or content. You know, we got a movie recently. Cool, great. Well, we didn't have a movie for three years. We didn't have the anime for four years, right? Obviously, there's going to be downsides of uh, doing Dragon Ball. And I feel like doing this open-ended, you know, kind of talk with you guys is a more he heartfelt thing where we can kind of just get to know, right? So, um, again, I do want to do this at least once a month if I keep saying that because I'm trying to, like, process what I'm trying to, like, really say that's, like, meaningful. But, um, content. I think I'm content and that's okay. Uh, you know, there's some situations and do I want to devolve into personal stuff? Like, personal, personal stuff? Um... Yeah, I, this is like, again, this is like you're speaking to like a friend. That's the idea of this, right? Like I'm speaking to you as you're my friend and then you're my friend and, you know, I'm your friend and we're talking. Like we're, we're shooting the shit, but we're also talking like getting to know, like how are we actually doing? Like, you know, you have a friend that it's like, okay, like you'll, you'll be friends with them. You'll goof around, do all this dumb shit with them. That's great. But like, you'll end up being serious at some point being like, you know, you got to do this. Or you got to like, you know, you talk about some serious shit, right? I guess... I guess I'll do that here, right? Again, I haven't really done one of these before, so I'll have a more baseline, you know, guideline going on in my head as I continue doing these um, in the future. But if, I, I probably will, but if, you know, sometimes you just kind of forget. But um, personally, I'll say some things that have made me just content to where I'm not fully happy right now, right? And maybe people can relate, right? I guess it can't help you guys, which is, again, a goal here of uh, this channel and just this video specifically more any, more than any other, because, again, talking to each other. Um, so, Father's Day happened. I'm not a father. <laughs> I'm not a father. That's not, that's not what happened. Don't worry. <laughs> Nothing like that. Um, and I have a brother, and my, uh, my brother called my dad, I believe it was 6 or 7 in the morning, something like that, and obviously I wasn't up. I record till, like, I record till, like, 2 in the morning. Then I go to sleep at like three or four because I have to edit, process you know, all these things and make sure they're actually up by the time I wake up. Because I wake up, then I record the uh, third video of the day, right? Well, either second or third. This, I'm recording, you know, the first and third video on the, uh, you know, night before. But it, it's, I record two videos at night, then one when I wake up for whatever the third video is, right? Wherever it is. So I go to sleep at like three or four in the morning. I wake up at like, earliest 9, uh, latest 10, because I start recording always at 11, you know, p.m., 11 a.m., I start recording. So with that, I obviously wasn't up at 6 or 7 a.m. So my brother called my dad, 
and he answered him for Father's Day, you know, talk, they, whatever the hell happened. And I believe I called my dad three times, and it was all in normal times. He goes to sleep pretty early because, you know, he has a job that requires you to be up early. So I called him, I think, 4 p.m., 2 p.m., and I think 6 p.m. I uh, didn't get a return. Yeah, that that stung a little bit, I'm going to be real. It actually really pissed me off. It, it pissed me off more later on in that day when I actually thought about, like, because I I figured. I, I, it's just kind of a intuition, I guess, where it's like, my brother probably spoke to him, right? And it's like, oh, I was right. Because I asked him. I asked him at, like, 8 or 9. I was like, did you did you call him and did you talk to him? And it was like, like, I told him. I was like, oh, well. He picked the favorite again. That's, you know, that's probably some underlying issue I definitely do have where it's like I see this favoritism with my dad to my brother where it's like, maybe it does exist. I'm pretty sure it does exist, but like, it's always denied to where it's like, you know, okay, that doesn't, that's not real. But like, again, it, oldest son, it seems like it just growing up and all that stuff. But that kind of bugged me. Um, again, this is just a catch up, I guess, right? <laughs> I feel like a little bit off sharing this, but I also do feel like it's helpful where maybe it's just not something you would see from someone that just does legends, right? But I feel like just sharing is helpful to people. Maybe if you went to something similar where it's like you couldn't even, like, it's like, okay, what if this person couldn't even call their dad? And it's like, well, well, fuck me. Like, no shit, like, that, that's ten times worse. It's like, oh, well, damn, I didn't think of it like that. Obviously, think of it like that now, but it's like, again, kind of like a helpful situation. Again, I hope this helps. It doesn't. It's unfortunate. I hope it does, though. But, um, besides that, oh, do I be really blunt? <sighs> I mean, there isn't much else, is there? Not too much else. Nothing crazy. I mean, in reality... Things are pretty tame, you know, compared to a little bit ago. What was that, a month ago? A month and a half ago? Two months ago? The whole thing there. Um, and nothing outlandish. Um, I I'm more just super focused on YouTube. Like, my routine is literally wake up, you know, bullshit around for like an hour. If I wake up at like 9 or 10, okay, then I go to record. And then, okay, I record. My video, my first video is probably already out by the time I'm done editing my video I recorded when I woke up and then two hours later my second video is already up and it's like okay after that you know second video already being up at uh, 3 p.m my time it's like okay I'm gonna go out bullshit around I just kind of just explore just see what's going on uh new areas and all that stuff just for future references just places I enjoy being right then I kind of come back um you know around an hour or two after before my last video day goes up and it's like I repeat the process. I start recording at 11 p.m. I do both videos the night before. I edit. Then I, again, repeat the process, right? So that's kind of my routine. And um, I am feeling a little stagnant in that routine. Not the YouTube aspect of it, but like my actual day-to-day -day of everything after recording, which is surprising to me. You would think, you know, how how many videos do I have up? Like 1,200, 1,100? You would think like, okay, I'm getting like this burnout feeling, but I'm not getting burnout. It's more that I'm just, I'm getting stagnant in my repetition of in real life than actual outside of it. And situationally, I mean, right now, if I were to like, you know, change stuff up, like, okay, let's try to date somebody. Let's try to like, you know, hang out with friends more often. It's like, I really can't in like, this is how, if I'm sleeping four to five hours a night, Okay, well, there's probably some days I'm not going out and I'm taking a nap midday before, you know, I start to record my videos for the next day. Or, let's say it's a Tuesday. Dude, I sleep two hours on Tuesdays. Tuesdays to Wednesdays, because obviously I have to reset nights and all these things. And my whole thing's centered on YouTube, and I like that. I like that idea. I like having this, you know, centered process of one thing where it's like, well, this is only going better and better and better. It's only becoming better and better for me. I'm only getting better and better at it. It's like... Literally no negative to being centered on YouTube. I like this process of it. I really do. But the outside process gets screwed by how much commitment YouTube has, right? Because Tuesdays, oh, you think I ever go out on a Wednesday? Never, never. I am sleeping at 8 to 9 a.m. And then I'm recording the video for 1 p.m. my time. Then I'm sleeping from, 
you know, 11 a.m. after I finish recording and editing that video till like noon that I'm recording the next. Like I barely make it in time to make these uploads on these days because yeah, there's a lot of fucking shit going on, right? But then it, it doesn't make sense to me. I guess because of my time restraint that I have while doing YouTube. And again, it's not like YouTube is like bad. Like it's literally only good. The time restraint YouTube does make though does stagnate the stuff I do outside, which I find very, I, I would think it's opposite, right? You, you think like, okay, well, YouTube is getting stale. Like this is getting stale. Like it's not though. It's literally the opposite. I'm doing it more and more every day. So it's like, what do I do to fix that? Because again, I don't, don't think I have time to like get to like know and do all the, I don't have time. I just don't. And I, I doubt people would have the patience to be like, you know, yeah, uh, we can hang out this day, but oh, then it has to change this because this dropped or this. And there's definitely days I can have more time than others, right? Probably on like Thursdays or Mondays or something like that, where it's like, okay, um, it's not like a weekend. So I do like a really like hype character, like a cool ass character showcase. Obviously on the weekends, it's going to be more people watching because you know, there's no work. There's no school for most people, all that stuff. But like a Wednesday, or a Thursday, rather, so I'm not doing a Wednesday, that's why I gotta sleep all day, because I just recorded seven videos a day prior, right, like, a Thursday would be, like, an okay day, a Monday, because, you know, there's nothing happening to Monday, an okay day, but it's interesting, it's just interesting to me, that whole premise where doing stuff outside is stagnating, and I don't know, I don't know, I don't think there's much I need to, like, actually do and, like, change, Maybe there is. Maybe I have to get more committed to one thing outside. Because what I like to do is just bullshit around. But, like, I haven't been able to play, like, uh, the sport I like to play, which is handball. And if you look it up, just New York City handball. Like, on YouTube, you'll see videos of people playing handball. That's what I play. I've been able to do that. I've been playing that since, like, fucking 7th, 8th grade. I haven't been able to play that because my wrist, I, uh, you know, was bleeding black fucking blood when I sharded, uh, when glass sharded on me when I was, uh, you know, it broke it broke on my skin like it broke and went deep in me i'm pretty sure it went deep in me. it feels like there's something like actually like existing in me which is that's not good but you know can't handle that right now it's not hurting me so it's all right i guess but <laughs> not right there but i couldn't do anything with that so maybe that's it kind of like get back into the sport but again i don't you know i'm terrified of fucking you know, what this like again this doesn't look big but like what if this like snaps open and it's like okay here's black blood again and here you are at the hospital like don't want that, but I guess I have to change it in a sense for myself, just again for well-being. But I do like I have to go out every day if I can. I have to go out at least like an hour or two every day. I just if I'm cooped up all day at home, like I, you know, if I'm just recording, recording, recording for sure, I can do that. But like if I'm just cooped up, just like I mean, literally just cooped up doing nothing, it's like I I, I can't. Like I I need to be. I need to like human touch. I need experience. I need see stupid ass people on the train or this you know whatever the hell i need to walk you know this many miles because i like walking for some reason like i need to, i need to do these things right so it's just a matter of changing things up but again feeling fine uh, again content could be better again there is that situation i just mentioned with the uh, father's day stuff that kind of irked me but feeling content probably will do these videos or this type of video uh, i want to say not a consistent day every month but Probably more towards the end of a month, kind of like a wrap-up. I, mean, I guess that would be better, huh? Like a wrap-up of the month, like what's going on? But I don't like mark shit down like a fucking book. Like, oh, this happened this day where I got screwed over. But this day, this day I had a happy day because, well, I don't know. Uh, the AC was blowing harder today and it was very cool. Like, awesome. Like, I don't fucking write shit down. But I feel like a situation like that, though, right? Like an end of the month thing, kind of a wrap-up. Try, try to remember all the things going on, but... Yeah, um, let me know you guys think of this style of video. I assume people won't see this much. And, you know, if I do get blessed by the algorithm where it's like, hey, you guys are going to see this whole thing? You're like, there's going to be like, you know, out of YouTube, there's a one out of 10 system on videos. If this is like a, I don't know, at least a six out of 10, I'd be like, oh my God, like that impressed the shit out of me. So that does happen, you know, great stuff for us. But I assume most people won't see this and, you know, again, enjoy the next Let's video if you do see this and then you're like, okay, well, I just skip to the end, see what he did, and then boom, I left. Enjoy the next Let's video, right? I just feel like this is a uh, a way to get to know you, you get to know me. I read all the comments, by the way. I might not reply right now because, dude, 
I try to sleep as much as I can when I'm not recording and I'm not uploading. Like, video goes up, you see me instantly hearting comments, right? Like, most times I'm, like, hearting 90 to 80% of comments. So, it's like, I see everything. It's just, I can't, I literally cannot reply because I'm doing too much of recording or something centered around YouTube if it's not trying to work out an ad deal, trying to work out this because I have, like, four ad deals trying to line up right now at different varying times of the same entire, like, next two weeks and it's like, oh my god, like, this all this shit just came out of nowhere. I, I'm trying my best to line everything up. And, you know, sometimes I just get fucking tired. And I just start ignoring emails. And it's like, you can't do that. So it's <laughs> it's a process here, right? It's a very uh, it's very new and unique process. I like how unique it is. It's just, holy shit, it's overwhelming a little bit to an extent. But yeah, let me know, guys enjoy, let me know if you guys enjoyed me not being able to speak. And this style of content, I feel like I'm very uh, rambly when I do speak. So maybe it came off as just dumb. What I said, maybe it came off as something insightful, informal, uh, I mean, anything that is beneficial, I hope, at least some benefit to uh, me speaking here, but let me know guys think of this style of video, probably will happen at least once a month, near the end of the month, this style, especially people remind me, right, if I get reminded, like, do this type of video, like, okay, like, I'll do it, like, I do these 100 day request videos, right, I could do this type of video easily, because I want to play PvP, Woo! Easier video than anything else in my life. I love that. Tier list and these type of videos probably going to be the easiest videos of my life if I continue doing these. Let me know guys think of them. Honestly, I probably will, even if they do terrible. Just saying. Let me know guys think of this style of video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.